Welcome everyone. We're at the Silva Concert Hall. Comcast Newsmakers, I'm Ken Ackerman. So glad you're with us. You know, a local agency is going strong after 35 years, but you may not be able to find them. So we've asked Marilyn Milne to join us. She's with Parenting Now. Thank you very much for being with us. Parenting Now, if someone looks up the old name, they're not going to find it, which is Birth to Three. Birth to Three, which is how we started 35 years ago here in Lane County. And uh, 93,000 parents and children later, here we are. And we recently changed our name to Parenting Now. It's, it's a little more accurate uh, reflection of what we do and really puts the emphasis on our mission, which is that all children are raised by nurturing skilled parents. Now you're finding, and it's no big secret, that most parents want to do a good job. They yes. want to parent well. What seems to be the hiccup? Oh, the devil's in the details, isn't it? <laughs> First of all, you're sleep deprived. And so as much as you looked forward to the birth of this child and the opportunity to be a parent, what do you do to make the most of your parenting? And so that is how Parenting Now began all those years ago. Mm -hmm. And what we have established are parent educators who work with groups of parents here locally and we also have resources for families. So whether you're in an official Parenting Now group or not, you can access some of the services. People have questions about, first of all, how do I get my child to sleep and how do I function because I'm exhausted? Right, right. Uh, those are more newborn kinds of issues. But as a child grows, there are developmental stages where sleep becomes more of an issue and then resolves itself. So someone calls your helpline, the parenting helpline. What are the top calls you're going to get in a given day or a given month? At the Parent Helpline, which is one of our services, and it's free, it's a telephone call-in. Anyone can call in with any kind of question, and our professional parent educators will answer that phone. Um, and so the top questions that we're getting right now have to do um, partly with the economy. You know, where do I find housing, or I need diapers, or um, employment kinds of resources. But beyond that, there are all those questions like, you know, my child will not eat what I'm putting in front of her. And maybe that's just a developmental stage. Um, and our parent educators are very knowledgeable about the different phases that children go through. So you'll get and questions so across the board. We get them across the board. So whether it's, you know, do I make a big deal out of my child not eating carrots or discipline issues, mm -hmm. which is another big area. And we always stress discipline is learning because it is an opportunity for the parent and the child to come further in um, the development of the child mm -hmm. through appropriate discipline. And an appropriate also means what's appropriate for that age of that child. What are they able to comprehend and understand? So we get discipline questions. Um, we get questions about um, sleeping patterns. Um, it, it just yeah, really it runs a wide range. And we can answer those questions mm -hmm. um, in Spanish or in many other languages because we have people available okay. who we can uh, connect right through to and, and a person might be more comfortable in the second language. Can you explain in 20 seconds, 15 now, what the suitcase is for here? Oh, this is wonderful. This is a suitcase that we give to our parents and we say, think about when your child leaves home at age 18 or 20, what do you want them to carry with them in their suitcase of life? Not on a daily basis, but for life. We do get so tied up in the day to day, right. which is appropriate, but you know, this helps re us remember the big picture of what we're really parenting right. for. Marilyn Milne, thank you very much for joining us. And remember, it is Parenting Now. Thanks for joining us on Comcast Newsmakers.